Hi. In this video, we will talk about production planning. We will show several ways of scheduling manufacturing, either if you make to stock or make to order, how to edit and update manufacturing order details, how to reschedule work orders. Viewing the production schedule. Let's go to production planning. Under production schedule, we see a color-coded calendar of both manufacturing orders and individual operations. To see what each color represents, click on the Quick Help button, which shows the individual help section for every page in MRP Easy. With the Choose Option button, it is possible to choose how much information is displayed on the calendar. The production schedule can also be viewed as a Gantt chart of manufacturing orders or a Gantt chart of workstations. If you want to look into individual calendars of workstations, then we will find these in the Workstations section together with other workstation specific reports. If you wish to look into a worker's schedule, you can do that in the Human Resources tab in the Settings section by opening the user's reports. Different Approaches for Production Scheduling There are several different ways of planning manufacturing orders. Which ones to use depends on the specific business processes of your company. If you make to stock, then you can create manufacturing orders manually or based on low inventory alerts or forecasts. If you make to order, then from the customer order, it's possible to raise demand for a product, raise a manufacturing order, or even have the software fully automatically schedule a manufacturing order. Manually creating manufacturing orders. First, let's manually create a new manufacturing order. We can add it by clicking plus in the Manufacturing Orders tab. Let's assume we want to build 100 products. Now we are shown the start and end times of production. If we have several alternative bills of materials, then all options are displayed. By default, the software works in a forward scheduling mode. First, it looks for the earliest possible availability time of materials. Then it scans through the calendar of each required workstation to find a suitable earliest time when workstations are free and the operations can be performed. If we change the start date, the software will look for an earliest time for production after that date. With the Enterprise version of MRP Easy, it is also possible to use backward scheduling so that the software finds the latest possible time before a specific due date. If we look into details of the schedule, then in the Parts section, we will see the status of materials and an estimated availability date for parts that need to be procured. In the Routings section, we see the details of all operations, including default assigned workers. Here, we can reassign the operations to someone else and even edit the workstation. For example, we can add workstations to speed up the operation. In any case, if we have several alternative routings, we can choose among the alternatives from here as well. For now, let's confirm the suggested schedule and save the order. Creating Manufacturing Orders from the Critical on Hand report. Either if you make to stock or make to order, then in both cases, the critical on hand report in the stock section of MRP Easy shows demand for products that must be produced. If a product's available quantity at stock falls below the minimal stock keeping value, then the products will be listed on this shortage report. For example, if you make to order, then your minimal stock keeping value could be zero for a product. Then, if demand is raised from a customer order, your inventory will become negative and the product will show up on the list.
To raise demand from a customer order, open it, click the Check Stock and Book Items button, and click on Book All Items. Now, available products from stock will be booked for the order, and demand will be raised for the rest. To create a manufacturing order, simply click on the button at the end of the line in the critical on-hand report. If you make to stock, then these products will become available in stock. If you make to order, then these products will be automatically booked to all orders where they are needed. Creating Manufacturing Orders from the Customer Order If you make to order, then it might make sense for you to directly create manufacturing orders based on a customer order. You can create manufacturing orders when you open the customer order and click on Check Stock and Book Items. If you click on the Book Manually button on a product's line, then you will be taken to the Bookings page where you can manually create a manufacturing order. Also, from the Check Stock and Book Items page, it is possible to have MRP Easy automatically generate manufacturing orders for you if you choose the corresponding option and click on Book All Items. Even more, Starting from the Enterprise plan, when you set delivery dates to your line items, you can have MRP Easy use backward scheduling to automatically plan production just in time for delivery. Creating Manufacturing Orders from a Forecast Lastly, if you have materials with long lead times, it is possible to use the procurement forecasting function to calculate material requirements and post manufacturing orders to the production schedule. We will find this function from the Procurement section of MRP Easy. It is possible to choose if the forecast should consider current inventory and planned purchases or not. If backward scheduling is available, then it is possible to schedule operations to finish just in time for the due date. Once we calculate the forecast, we will see all details about required purchases and we can create both manufacturing orders and purchase orders. Manufacturing Order Details page and Editing the Details Inside the Manufacturing Order Details page, which is the administrative screen for the Production Manager, we see all the details of orders, including the cost breakdown, attached files, related customer orders, and more. If production has not yet started, then if we edit the quantity of the order, the whole order will be recalculated and rescheduled. If production is already in progress, then the quantity will be updated according to what the workers report. The Materials section shows the booking and availability status of all the materials, including stock locations and availability status. If some materials are not booked, then by clicking the To Book All Parts button, the software will try to book the available materials for this manufacturing order. If necessary, it is possible to book extra materials, directly raise purchase orders for materials, and even add other items that were not listed on the Bill of Materials in the first place. Also, you can release booked materials back to stock. If you do not want to rebook them later, you can remove demand for these by doing the return action twice.
The Operations section shows details of the planned operations, assigned workers, and performed actions. When we edit an operation, we can add another workstation, edit the planned start and finish times, add and edit workers, and edit reported production times. At the bottom of the manufacturing order, we can see alerts which MRP Easy has created, and we can also add notes and even import flags, which will be displayed in the table of manufacturing orders. Dynamic drag and drop rescheduling. If for some reason we need to reschedule an entire manufacturing order or even an individual operation, we can do that by simply dragging and dropping it on a new date in the production schedule or the Gantt chart. The system takes the availability of the workstations into account and only allows dragging to an available spot. So, there's no chance for accidental double bookings. The changes are instantly reflected in all charts and calendars. Naturally, it's not possible to drag an already started operation to a new time. However, if a mistake was made, this can be manually fixed in the Manufacturing Orders Details page in the Operations section. Updating Bills of Materials and Routings If you update a bill of materials or a routing, then this update is not automatically conveyed to the existing manufacturing orders. If you wish to update the manufacturing orders, then after saving the bill of materials or the routing, MRP Easy will prompt you if you wish to do that. You will then be shown a list of manufacturing orders. The software can recalculate planned orders which have not yet begun. If an order is already in progress, then you can open it up and manually update the materials or operations since some materials might already be consumed and some operations already finished. This video focused on the functionality, which is designed to make the life of the production manager easy. To learn more about the functionality of MRP Easy, please see our other videos. Thanks for watching.